We have to say, with two minutes old, that Ratting have started very, very positively. Here's Di Maria. Ten goals. Real Madrid have scored in the last two league games. Cristiano Ronaldo's had a spectacular month of October. Munitez won a league title medal and a Champions League winner's medal in his now from Kedira, now Xavi Alonso. Ronaldo. Well, he had four white shirts ahead of him, but only one thing on his mind was to try and test Tonio for the first time. Well, Nick, again, he's a man in rich vein of form at the moment. Scoring Let's not forget that Ronaldo was out for ten games with an ankle injury after that blistering start to his first. Man, Higuain timed his run to perfection. And the Bernabeu looking at goals again. Well, you just have to say, and applaud. But it'll be interesting to see, why on earth did they get a coach? Why didn't they walk? Higuain feeds it in superbly. And the goals keep coming for Cristiano Ronaldo and Real Madrid. Tonio, the goalkeeper, bemoans the lack of cover in front of him. But they're slipping ominously into gear again. Well, that was far too easy for Real Madrid. You can see that Higuain does so, so well down the outside of Sisma. Good first-time ball. There is possibilities that he might be an offside to start off with. Just looks up, there is Ronaldo. He's run off Enrique, who should have got a little bit closer to him. He's run across the first defender towards the near post. Here we go, you can see the little uh, strike in by Higuain. And there was Ronaldo, he was running off Enrique towards the near post. It's a nice little side footer into the net. Joyous run out. And amongst those sellers who were uh, trapped and uh, the whole world watch gripped as mercifully they were all rescued in the end and in honour of them, four are here watching Ronaldo Higuain et al sweeping Rathing Santander aside so will pass though never looked like reaching Sisma here's Di Maria Ronaldo is trying to steal in on the shoulder of Torrejon who got the final touch Real Madrid throw Pose, or would they be as entertaining as they were at times under Manuel Pellegrini last season? Well, they're starting to look extremely entertaining as Higuain looks for that. There's Ronaldo playing the ball out. Just down really well by Di Maria, wants to stay in his own half and has managed to remain onside. Lovely ball for Ronaldo. Higuain's movement in the penalty area. He's free if Ronaldo can get his head up. A spectacular overhead was from to that roughing penalty area. It's a spectacular effort. Well, it is, you have to say, a decent ball by Ronaldo into Di Maria, very athletic. But you have to say, it, it's, it all stemmed from a corner for Rafing. And Real Madrid had all 11 players back. As you see, the overhead by Di Maria, not too far in stopping. Here they come again, Brazil, Ronaldo! They are ripping Rathing Santander to shreds. They are not comfortable in the least with this new defensive system. And they are finding gaps here, there and everywhere. 3-0 Real Madrid. Well, that was so easy for Real Madrid. You have to say that Ozil does really, really well. And all he's got to do is just a nice hard side foot. You can see once again, was he onside, was he offside? Debatable. But you look on the far side, Cristiano, Cristiano Ronaldo was offside when that first ball was Pepe just manages to ride it, as you see the incident. But Ozil, you can see Ronaldo in the top part of your screen, he's 20 yards offside. I still think that Ozil was offside from the initial pass. Ronaldo definitely was. They're not going to be asking any questions. 3-0 to Real Madrid. I'm not quite sure what that's all about. That's... But I, I think two goals so far have been there or thereabouts, whether or not the two players have been offside, Higuain for the second goal and Ozil for the third. And we could be looking. Invitation for Rathing, unfortunately. And this could be a, a decent spectacle for, for Real Madrid. Certainly it's going to enhance their goal difference. We know the goal difference is superb already. But what a nightmare it must be for, for Portugal.
coming up against them. Ozil. Ronaldo a little slow to take off there. Scored twice for the third game in succession. It's on an extra striker in the big Argentine Ariel Nafalpan. And Torajon, one of the three central defenders, has gone off. So a change of system for Miguel Angel Di Maria. It's missed by uh, Ponce. It's Di Maria. It's behind Ronaldo. He's still got time, though, to find the back of the net. And a hat-trick for Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, all the half-time team talk by Portugal has just gone out the window. He said that he was going to play as a 4-4-2. I said there was going to be more problems for Rafinha. And as it materialised, Ronaldo now gets his third of the game. Certainly game over. Great move down that far side by Di Maria, but what on earth was Ponce doing? Poor decision-making. Di Maria shows the players on the line, the eyes. The ball comes in behind Ronaldo, but he's quick enough just to adjust. As we see that Di Maria gets to himself towards the byline, pulls the ball back for Ronaldo. He has to adjust his position very, very quickly. He has a quick look up. Tonio's already gone to ground. Nice little side foot into an empty net. You can see that the player on the line... So one minute, a fourth goal is conceded. But you can't legislate for the... Stolen a march there on Marcelo. It's turned away by Xabi Alonso. Here's Ronaldo. Real Madrid have got another game coming up in midweek. The start of their challenge for. He's 111 caps as well, Kevin. I think he's got about 15 to catch up to Azul Zareta. And he'll want to keep a clean sheet tonight. As I said before, he's, he's had four so far. Cristiano Ronaldo, poised for his fourth goal of the night. Comfortable. What a month of October he is having for club and country. Ten goals he scored in this month alone. There's still two more games of the month to go. Astonishing. And there we were in the early weeks of the season talking about his goal drought. Mourinho said the goals would come collectively. They've certainly come individually for Cristiano. Again, it was going to be a quick counter-attack for Real Madrid. Sometimes you have to give away those cheap free kicks. Look at the space again here. Ozil opened up the shooting position. Ronaldo. Made room for the cross. Good looking one, two. Oh! He does so well. He just gets to the byline, just buys his time, has a little look. With the big two at the top end of the table. The well, question we were always going to ask with that change by Marcello is who's going to go and play at left back? And it's Di Maria. I don't think he's played at left back ever before in his life. Di Maria. Looked at home at left back, hasn't he? Certainly never seen him play there before. But there's a saying, Kevin, if you're a good player, you can play anywhere. Yeah. Ronaldo, there's Arbeloa. Ronaldo not expecting the pass back. Still a strong. And Casillas having to make the save. Unorthodox but effective with his outstretched leg. And the counter's on now with Ronaldo. Canales to his left. Ronaldo hungry for a fifth goal. He'll leave that for Benzema. Still Sergio Canales. It's a beautiful ball back to Ronaldo. Not of the head from the man alongside me. Terrific play from the teenager. Xavi Alonso looking to add his name to the score sheet. I think it's a little bit unfortunate. Pull the ball back. You can see that for his fifth there, was he? They've lost them all apart from the draw with Sevilla. And onside here is Pedro Leon. Is he going to be unselfish? He is, there's Ronaldo. And denied his fifth goal by the feet of Tonio. Yeah, as we see the incident there with Pedro Leon. He just slowed down the play, had a little look up. Ronaldo's made a decent run. He 
any side of the goalkeeper, Tonio, and that would have been in the back of the net. So you see that uh, Di Maria just struggling with a little bit of cramp, but you're right in saying uh, Portugal himself, as it was, he became unselfish. Look for the run of Ronaldo. Decent save by Tonio. Avaloa. position that he's never played as well. Oh, another occasion he might have sent to the referee. You can see that he's tussling there with, with Francis, he just leaves his left elbow there in the face of Francis and...